Good morning, Harmony and Consolidated. This is Mr. Calverts coming to you live from my house. Um, hope that you guys are having a good day. I'm um, enjoying this time off while also still finding time to learn. Um, today's artist of the day is somebody that I think you're really going to like, and his name is Sai Guao Chung. I hope I'm saying that right. Sai Guao Chung, I believe. Um, and Sai, he is 62 years old, and he originally comes from China. Um, I can't pronounce the place he's from. It looks like it's Quinzhou, China, and that would be found right here on the map, so that little red dot. Um, now, though, he makes a lot of his work over in New York, which is right about here, New York City to be exact, and we would be right here on the map. We are in Wisconsin. Now, growing up, Sai grew up in a time when there's a lot of fighting in China. We called it a revolution, where people were trying to make changes. And when a lot of this was going on, there were oftentimes um, a lot of fighting, there were cannons, there were fireworks, there were um, bombs being set off. And this actually really inspired Sai growing up. Um, and he decided to make his artwork actually using gunpowder. So kind of um, reminiscent or um, kind of drawing inspiration from those explosions that he had growing up. All right, and here's an example of his work. Um, so when we see his artworks, what has happened is he actually puts gunpowder on them and then lights it. And um, it'll actually burn marks into the painting. So all this black that we see, that's actually where gunpowder has burned itself onto his paintings or his canvases. Um, and here's a picture of Sai actually making his artwork. So we see Sai right here. And what he and his assistants do is they take big sheets of paper and actually cut pictures out of the paper, um, kind of like a big stencil. And then they put it down on top of another sheet of paper. And he puts the gunpowder in the areas where they cut pictures out. And what happens is um, by making that stencil, it actually burns the picture into the cutout parts while kind of um, keeping the areas where there's still paper, it kind of keeps those areas from burning, kind of smothers the flame so it doesn't burn the whole entire canvas. And by doing this, he's able to make actual like drawings with his artwork. So here we can actually see him putting the gunpowder down onto his artwork. And then after he has put all the gunpowder down, they put pieces of cardboard down on top of it, as well as some rocks just to hold it down. And the reason they do this is because if they didn't, the explosion would go way up in the air. Um, but by putting this weight and these cardboard um, pieces on top of the artwork, it kind of helps smother the fire. So it just kind of shoots out the sides a little bit. Um, and that just keeps everybody safe. All right, so we can see here he's lit it and it's exploding. And you can see it shooting out the edges. Here's another view of a different artwork. You can see the plume of smoke. Um, this one looks like it's probably almost done being lit. You can see just a little bit of it's still left. Okay. Um, and oftentimes, too, when they do take these things, these pieces of cardboard off, things will still be burning. And he has a bunch of assistants that help him. And they'll go and they'll help to actually um, put the fires out as well. And then because he can make those stencils and kind of control what it is that he is making, he can turn these things into pictures. So here we see a bird. See the big wings and its tail feather. And then it's kind of like beak or face area right in here. Um, here we see a drawing. Um, looks like it's probably in China somewhere, judging by the architecture of it. We see some buildings. I see a horizon line or the ground way in the background. Um, some smaller buildings too. Okay, it looks like this is another kind of landscape. Uh, it looks almost like cactuses actually. So it's probably a desert somewhere. And okay, remember that all the black that you see, that is actually where the gunpowder has been lit and it burns into the um, paper. Notice how large artworks are too. They're not small. They really take up a big space. So look at how big this room is and how it kind of wraps around. Um, I'm sure we can't even see the whole entire thing in it. But he doesn't just make artwork on paper. He also makes artwork in the sky. Um, so he puts on these big performances where he sets off fireworks and creates almost paint like paintings in the sky. Here we see he's actually making flowers. And so we see like these stems with the red coming out of the top. Um, so he's very smart about how to use these materials that he has. So that way it, um, he can kind of control the shapes that they make, the colors that they make, when they're going to set off. Um, so there's a lot of planning that goes into this. 
Um, something that he did not too long ago that he'd been working on his entire life was called the Sky Ladder. Um, it actually took him four tries to actually complete it. So um, this is the, his fourth attempt when it finally worked. And actually, there's a documentary on Netflix about this, which I haven't had the chance to watch yet, but it looks pretty cool. But basically, he made this huge ladder because he wanted to connect um, the Earth with the universe or space. And he made this huge ladder that's actually about the length of five football fields. So really, really, really long if you think about how big a football field is. And then when he lit it, it started from the bottom and began to climb its way up into the sky. And this uh, ladder that he used is actually being held up by a big balloon. You can see it um, up here in the corner, how that helps hold that big ladder up. Um, I'll be sure to post some videos in the comments of this video too so you can actually see some of the um, artwork in action you can actually see how this one went off it's pretty cool to see um, here's another one one of his paintings in the sky you can see how it's um, exploded on the ground and then shoots up in the air and they all kind of blow up at that same distance um, and these ones are all black and then he was also hired when they had the Olympics in Beijing. He was hired to actually do all of the fireworks for the opening and closing ceremony. So typically they have like a big, um, almost like a party or celebration to start and end the Olympics. And he was hired to do all of the fireworks for that. So here we see he actually did the five rings to the Olympics. Um, and this was just a small part of it. He did much more than this too. So hopefully you guys liked Sai. Um, check out the comments on my Facebook page and I'll post a few videos so you guys can actually see what his artwork looks like in action. It's really, really cool. Um, hope you guys learned about uh, enjoyed learning about Sai. Otherwise, have a good day.